Phew, what is that <coughs> smell? If you've ever slid behind the wheel and smelled something burning, you know just how fast your stress level can rise. A burning smell inside your car is never a good sign. However, not all burning smells have the same cause. That's why we're here to explain the different types of burning odors you might encounter and what they mean. The first odor we're talking about is burning rubber. Typically, the smell is due to a loose hose or a slipping belt that's touching something hot and melting. A melted hose could lead to leaks and overheating, and a melted belt could cause major problems with your engine bestie. You'll definitely want to bring in your ride and get it checked out so that a more expensive auto repair isn't needed. The second odor we're covering is burning carpet. Burning carpet smells come from your car's brakes. You'll detect this type of odor when your car's brake pads or rotors are overheating. It can be caused by brake pads that are too thin or calipers that are sticking. If your brake pads are overheating, they can wear down a lot faster than you'd like and cause damage to your car's rotors, which is a costly repair. The third odor we're covering is burning plastic. Burning plastic odors can mean an issue with your car's wiring, specifically the insulation surrounding it. The insulation is often soy-based plastic, which makes it irresistible to rodents and other critters who love to chew it. This leaves exposed wires under the hood, which can cause a fire. The fourth odor is burning oil. Burning oil means you need to get your car checked out ASAP. It usually means you have an oil leak under your hood somewhere, which can quickly lead to your car overheating and engine damage. Not only that, leaking oil can damage your car's crankshaft, timing belt, and more. It can even cause a fire under the hood. No matter what bad smells are coming from your car, our car repair techs can help. Stop by Toyota of Claremont at 16851 State Road 50.